Oh, well, listen, I wish I could say I was working out like I should, but I have not. But when I do work out, it's been making use of, you know, the music to keep me going, to keep me motivated. And of course, a smartwatch, that always helps. So that's something that's very important. But Ashwin, you're now here and we're going to get into a bit of a workout. So what are you deciding to do for us today? Okay, so because, I mean, the spinning walks inspired us over the weekend, though, so, and it's summer approaching as well. So we're going to have a nice, fat burning calorie um, enhancing exercise today so we're going to be focused on high intensity workouts mm -hmm. so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to be some jumping lunges for you Zoe I know you said that you haven't been in the gym lately you've been a bit busy so we're going to give you some alternatives okay, okay. so you know starting in the morning we have beginners, you have advanced, so we're just gonna have a bit of both for everyone involved. Perfect, okay, so I'll do the modified version. You're gonna do, you're gonna show us how we can take that workout to that next step. Perfect, so just to get that heart pumping, get that, cas that cardiovascular going, I'm gonna start with jumping lunges and you're gonna do normal um, lunges. So the thing is with the lunges, you can either go forward or if you have some knee issues, you can always go, you can go lunges to the back. So that can be you over there. That okay. can be the alternative. So if the knees are niggly, step back. Definitely, less pressure on that knee. So I'm going to start with the jumping lunges just to get that cardiovascular going, okay? okay. So let's go. And of course, we want to get the high calorie workouts in. We want to make sure that we stay in a bit of a calorie deficit or at least even out as we go into the festive season. Definitely. There we go. <sighs> Perfect. How was that for you? Whew, the high calorie always gets eh? the breath going. It <laughs> takes your breath away. <laughs> Definitely. Lovely stuff, though. Um, next thing that we're going to move on to, I'm going to be doing some burpees. Old faithful, can you ever go wrong with it? So today, I came prepared. I got you a young kit of all over here. Okay. So the alternative to me doing burpees, you're going to be doing a kettlebell swing. Okay. So I'll first go through it with you guys at home. If you do not have a kettlebell, you can literally take a fruit basket, anything that gets you going over here. So Even a pillow will work, a nice scatter cushion. That works as well, yeah. you know, anything. So the first thing over here, we're going to come up over here, and we're going to head nicely into a squat, up, squat, okay? So remember, go at your own pace. So I'll be doing the burpees, and Zoe will be doing the kettlebell swings for us. Okay. So you're getting into, you're really getting the calorie workout. I'm doing the modified version. <laughs> so it's just a slow and controlled Excellent kettlebell stuff. swing. And I'll be eating the burpees, so. Now, when we set these workouts out, I know you're gonna lose your, you need to catch your breath again, but do you prefer doing it per reps or do you set a timer? What is your style of training? Um, when it comes to high intensity workouts, that's how predominantly do with time. But in terms of with weight training, I'll usually go for, for reps. For reps. Okay, well listen, Ashwin's not going anywhere. He is going to stay with us as we do another bit of a workout. So stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. Day one is here and our, we, our one for the day to put us through our paces. Ashwin, we are ready for round two of our workout. I love that you are doing the more intensified version and you're allowing me to do the modified version. <laughs> Definitely, we all need to start somewhere. So I'll be the guinea pig for today. Okay. I'll take the burn, so yeah. So the next exercise that we're gonna go with now is that we will be doing normal squats. Basic, normal, one of the best exercises you can find. And then I'll be doing the pop squats just to get that cardiovascular going. Okay, so I'm just going to go down, do gentle little squats. Perfect. Perfect form as well, Zoe. Love it. Mm -hmm. And I'll be doing the pop squats, so it's in, out. Okay. Definitely a lot more explosive. Now, why is it so important for us to do these explosive workouts, to get the heart rate up, to get the blood pumping? It's just, it's very important in terms of losing them calories, you know. I mean, for summer, we all want to be in that perfect condition as well, though. So it's good to start your morning as well, like on a high note. Just get the blood pumping. Very good. Okay. So round one was squats. Round two. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. I'll be doing mountain climbers because I know you hate them so much. <laughs> 
Okay. And you'll just be doing, um, you'll be on your hands and then you'll just be going side to side with each leg, okay? Okay. Pretty simple. So, mountain climbers and some side to side. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That's perfect, Zoe. Keep it up. Love it. Here we go. Okay, next up. So, we're going to stay on the floor. Just need you to stand up, though, you know, keep it going. So, you'll be in the plank position and I'll be doing some dynamic planks. Okay. What's the difference? What, what is a, di a dynamic plank? So, it's just involving more than one movement, though. So, um, you'll be incorporating your entire body in this exercise. Okay. So, you will just be in a normal plank over here. And then I'll be going up on the one arm, up onto the other, and okay. back down over there. So, with the dynamic plank, we work in every single part of our body. So, with the plank, we incorporate in our core. With the dynamic plank, we incorporate in our shoulders, arms, back. So, yeah. Okay. So you're doing some of, I know those as commandos. So the dynamic plank, I love that every fitness instructor loves giving you that exercise. <laughs> Perfect. What's the longest you can plank? Ooh, Have I you have... ever timed yourself? No, I was too busy eating. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And one more to finish off our workout. Okay, so we'll continue in incorporating that core. So over here, you'll be doing just on your hands, shoulder taps. I hope there's no other word for that. Yeah. <laughs> so there's too many words going around in the fitness industry. So you'll be doing shoulder taps and I'll be doing inchworms, but I'll modify it with adding shoulder taps to it. Okay, okay. So I'll just do the regular shoulder taps and you'll be doing the inchworms. Perfect. So we're going over here. One, two, three, four, and then up again. Remember guys, you want to keep that core engaged. That's perfect. So you want to keep it as still as possible so we can engage at core. Ah, oh, there we go. How difficult on a scale of 1 to 10, and now you have to be absolutely honest, do you find it to talk and do a workout? <laughs> be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my hardest over here. You make it look easy. <laughs> one I'm to doing ten. the easy version. You are really going at it. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how tough is it to talk while doing your workout? Oof. Easy, 1.25. <laughs> See, he's a true fitness buff, and Ashwin, it's great having you here. Lovely. Dude. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being such a good sport during the high-intensity workout, but also showing our viewers that they are always a modified version, if that is where you are at. So I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Ashwin, where can we find you online? And, you know, you are a personal trainer, so if you need more clients, where can people reach you? Um, Instagram, Ash underscore Wilder. TikTok, Ash underscore Wilder as well. Keeping it simple, so yeah. Simple and easy and straight to the point.